Hey guys, welcome back to another cyber hack. Um, you know, it's been a long time since I made my last video and so much has been going on. I've been reconfiguring my whole lab environment because I just need to feel like I need a change, a little bit of change. But while I'm at the change, I have been sitting through more interviews. And because of that, and I don't know, maybe it's because it's September, there's a new budget in place. Places are hiring, guys. I got something lined up. Now, I'm not saying for sure uh, by the time you see this video whether I have already taken it or not, but uh, it's out there, guys. And uh, I want to mention another thing right now that it was pretty interesting. Uh, someone that I actually follow, her name is Sandra. Uh, she said that she will be quitting her cybersecurity analyst job. So if that's the case, that means there's another opening coming up. She didn't really say if she was planning to you know, uh, get another job right away. But actually, no, she did. She says she's going to be going away, uh, traveling or whatnot. And, um, and I think that that gets to you. Uh, there's, there's a certain point in time when you realize that, you know, you don't want to be sitting in a cubicle nine to five. And this is not the life that we were brought up to be living in, right? The, we should be exploring nature and all that other great stuff. But unfortunately, not a lot of us are, uh, were built for that, especially when we were schooled at such a young age and we're sitting in classrooms. And from that time on, when you were three, four or five, uh, up till now, whether you're in your 30s, 40s, 50s, or even uh, let's just say in your 20s. But because you're in your 20s, I, I think you you have an ability to adapt and be more agile to explore your options. Um, you know, you don't have no major commitments. At least I I know I didn't think that in my 20s I had major commitments, right? My parents were still young. Uh, they were able, they were working. So there was income there. I'm not worried about that. And if I fell through the cracks or whatever, they were there to support me. Now, I know, I know a lot of you guys may not have that fortunate, you know, dynamics for, for living. You know, especially if your parents are not around or there's no family member, you're alone. I get that. And I, I was very fortunate. So my point is right now, um, you know, as I'm sitting through interviews, I have to weigh my options. I don't have the luxury of like Miss Sandra here um, just bouncing on a job because I have commitments. I'm pretty sure she does as well, whether it's a mortgage, your car payments, whatever it is. Those are materialistic things. If I can't afford the house, I'll sell the house. If I can't afford, you know, my internet, I'll get rid of the internet. Uh, the, you know, there's plenty of free internet in New York City, especially with Wi-Fi. And if I can't afford, uh, you know, electric bikes, then I'll ride a, a pedal bike. But the point is, if I can't afford to feed my kids, I can't just get rid of my kids. If I can't afford to pay, you know, to go to the, the doctors for my wife, or my kids and myself, then I can't just get rid of us, right? I mean, you can, but let's let's not go over that. That's a little dark. But the point is, um, the options are always there for you, whether you're in your early 20s, 30s, 40s. Um, I, I'm reading. I'm reaching to a point where I am getting older, not necessarily wiser, but I'm hoping that I am, and I'm trying to adapt. And what I'm saying adapting is I'm still keeping up with the trends because I have the capacity to, I still have the urge to, and I still have the, you know, I'm eager, right? And especially when you're sitting through these interviews, you have to show that you're eager. Top three things that I hear you recruiters, especially with the ones that I follow, there's so many of them now on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and they're, they're giving you these hints and, and, things to do to get you in the position of where you should be a top candidate. And one of the, you know, three items was that always show your eagerness, right? Especially through verbal, especially if you do video and, you know, you could express your feelings a little more opposed to just sitting there and like, you know, yes, yes, right. I, I am looking for a job. No, you have to explode with enthusiasm. Uh, one of the greatest feedbacks I ever got from a CISO when I sat with them and I reached back out to them, even though I didn't land the position, which is interesting, right? I, I, it was for a lead, blah, blah, blah. And they were like, 
yeah, I don't think you fit this role, but if something else opens up, I'm sure, I'm sure that we would consider you. Fine, no, granted, all right, I just wanted some feedback. So what was it that you did like about me? And he was like, you were so damn eager, right? So like, because as soon as we got on the call, just me and him, I was like, yeah, I, ch I checked you out. You had these great videos on YouTube. He goes, wow, those were like 10 years ago. I was like, yeah, and I watched all of them. It wasn't because I was trying to kiss ass. It was because I trying to learn and adapt to who this person was. And I, and I saw exactly who he was. But unfortunately, it didn't work out for the position. But I was able to add him on LinkedIn. Now I have this contact, major CISO in a big corporation, that I can ask him questions if I plan it correctly. And if I could ask him if it has relevance in the space, right? I'm not, of course, I'm not going to ask him, hey, how do I, how do I catch sea basses in, in deep ocean? Like, I don't know if he goes fishing or not. Like, how do I uh, ride mountain bikes? How do I start around? I'm not going to ask him unnecessary questions because he's a professional that I linked up with on LinkedIn and, and I sat through an interview. I treat him as a resource now. And I will ask him, I'll say, hey, remember that time that we had that interview? He's probably going to be like, oh, shit, I had like 500 interviews with candidates. Who the hell are you? Right. But I'm trying to make it memorable for him. And, you know, I'll reach out to him once in a while. I'll say, hey, and, and which I did because there were other positions that showed up and I emailed him or, or messaged him. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll look into it. Now, I know when people say I'll look into it, but he didn't throw me off, which was he didn't ghost me, which is more important. Right. He was willing to communicate with me, if anything, because he's willing to communicate with me. I'm taking him as a mentor. Right. I mean, he is a CISO in a huge corporation. If I have a very intelligent question that I can not answer or I can not source out from somewhere else, believe me, he's one of those guys that I'm going to ask and, and guaranteed he'll give me an answer that I feel like would be to make me think on the next level because he's in the position of delegating, managing, and overseeing huge, huge sector, right? So that's my point. Um, you know, I just wanted to come on and say that, you know, I, I have things lined up. And as we speak of today, if you're watching this video, I do have another one coming up, uh, sitting through another interview, which was very interesting. And I want to show you guys right now that, you know, this was Sandra, uh, New York City, uh, uh, NYC.gov. Although you probably heard that, you know, the mayor is putting a hold on a lot of positions and cutting back agency funding because of the whole situation right now, the economy. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details of that because this is not a political channel. But a lot of these positions are still posted here, right? These are New York City jobs, whether they're hiring or not. I can't guarantee that, but it's posted here. So there's no harm in applying to it, especially if you're in New York City or maybe surrounding states, uh, Jersey, Connecticut, whatever. Um, and I can honestly say that I applied or I, you know, I got, yeah, I applied. And there's still some, there's still some nibbling. Right. Uh, I'm throwing bait into the water and, and someone is still I'm still getting catches, whether I'm just sitting through the process of an interview just for the sake of sitting through an interview and they're not hiring. At least I still get my experience in there. And again, very important is like I advocated many times, whether you're choosing to leave or not based on your financial situation. Uh, practice, right, because you can't get any better if you don't practice whether it's piano, basketball, sports, anything, right? Race car driving, anything. Um, sitting through interviews and talking to new people that you've never met before and telling them your whole life work history just so you can get into their company or organization, that is amazing if you think of it that way. Because within 15 to 30 minutes, you're supposed to convince these individuals that you've never spoken to before to let you through the door, giving you the keys to the gate. Crazy, right? If you think of it from that perspective. And I feel like I've been fortunate enough many occasions where 
I have never been, um, I, I shouldn't say it because I don't want to jinx it, but every organization that I worked for, I was fortunate enough to make the decision to whether depart on my own free will, not because I was forced to. And I think that also has a lot of to do with your enthusiasm, uh, enthusiastic approach to things and your knowledge, your experience, and your commitment to the organization, and also the benefits of having you there, right? So with that being said, you have to put yourself into that position. Now, I know these are just nine to fives, and some of them may run even longer. It could be like from like midnight and on, right? Especially with overtime, or you had deadlines and projects and whatnot. Um, emergency calls, disaster recoveries, right? You're, you're always going to be on the clock. Now, with that, that's part of the, the nature of this business. So if you decide to get into this, right, um, just make sure that, you know, depending on your age, how much commitment and, li you know, how many liabilities you have at hand, when you're young, I would say explore as much as you can. And when I say young, I'm not talking about like, you know, your early teens or whatnot. You're getting, you're getting a feel for the, 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 the cybersecurity world. And there's so many different aspects. There's a GRC, there's pen testers, the blue team, red team, so many things. It could be sales of, of cybersecurity. I, have, I know someone, a relative of mine, close, close. Sales, cybersecurity didn't know a lick of cybersecurity until they got this role. And now they spit out cybersecurity terms here and there like like they're a, a walking mar marketing, a, a walking advertisement for the, the, the company. Crazy, right? So many different aspects of it. Um, so many different avenues because I think cybersecurity right now has grown into a world of its own. Uh, 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 it's almost like when you say, oh, I know this accountant or this accountant firm, like this whole firm is only doing accounting. They, all they do is crunch numbers. Now they are firms specifically just doing cybersecurity. All they do is cybersecurity. I mean, it's been around for a little bit, but it's growing more in popularity. More and more people are being educated now. Now everything's going digitized, right? Especially with cryptocurrency and, you know, there's no paper trails anymore. Everything's all, all online. Cybersecurity is huge, huge, huge. All right. Um, went a little off, right? So I appreciate you guys. Uh, stick with me on this journey because I do have, like I said, a few things lined up. And I have to make a decision by the end of this week. And I'll definitely be making a video on that as well. So once I do that, I will definitely keep you guys abreast. All right. Thank you. And I'll see you guys again really soon. Bye.